In this discussion, we will learn how to use a project management formula known as PERT to approximate the task duration or cost for your projects. The PERT calculation is a widely used formula to approximate task duration or cost in projects, particularly those where the estimates are uncertain, because PERT allows you to input specific values for each of your tasks. The Project Management Institute defines PERT as a technique used to estimate project duration through a weighted average of optimistic, pessimistic, and most likely activity durations when there is uncertainty with the individual activity estimates. For a successful project, it is best to use PERT during the planning and implementation phases. This can be done before or at the start of a project, given that there are three major components that we need to gather for this calculation to work. We need to collect the optimistic estimate, or best case, and thus the shortest duration or lowest cost to complete the work. The most likely estimate, represented as M. This estimate is based on changes that have been planned for and can be mitigated. The most likely estimate captures the highest likelihood of completing the work in the given duration or cost. The pessimistic estimate, represented as P, or worst case, and thus longest duration or highest cost to complete the work. Now, let's take a moment to imagine a scenario where you recently moved to a new city to start a new job. Before your first day of work, you decide to check Google for an estimate on how long it'll take to get to work. It says 60 minutes. With Google Maps, it collects the estimate based off several different factors, like distance and traffic report, so we can assume this estimate will be the most likely case. Luckily for you, your neighbor who just so happens to work at the same place tells you that in his experience, it can be as quick as 30 minutes or as long as two hours, depending on weather conditions, traffic, or even accidents. Taking in that information, we know these values can be applied to the PERT formula, where the Google Maps estimate represents the most likely scenario and your neighbor's advice on quickest and longest represent the optimistic and pessimistic values. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that PERT is based off the beta distribution technique, which is a formula that calculates the weighted average. A typical average would just be O plus M plus P divided by three. However, in PERT, we use a weighted average of O plus 4M plus P divided by six which adds four times the amount of weight to the most likely case, and then divides by the number of values present in the formula. Going back to our earlier example, if we plug in the values we collected from Google Maps and our neighbor, then we can calculate the weighted average. Go ahead and pause the video and do that now. The answer is 65 minutes. Now, when your first day of work comes around, you can plan for the trip to take approximately 65 minutes, which should keep you from being late. In this example, you effectively learned how to use PERT to make an important decision, and there's virtually no limit to the scenarios in which you can apply this technique. Did you like our explanation on PERT? Check out this other recent video from Project Management Academy, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.